What's happening YouTube? My name is Ryan and today on Tricro Studios we're going to be doing another episode of Guitar Answers. This episode is going to be gas, gear acquisition syndrome. Now, if this is your first time visiting our channel here at Tricro Studios, I'd like to say welcome. There's a whole bunch of videos in our back catalog that you'll like, and I'd really like for you to subscribe to Tricro Studios. We get a new video coming out every single Saturday morning, and we like to make bonus videos here and there to get you through the week as well. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Normally, this is where I would say here's my signal chain, but I'm actually only going to talk in this video. So, uh, what I'm talking about is gear acquisition syndrome. So, you can also call it guitar acquis acquisition syndrome as well. We all refer to it as gas. And gas can be mighty funky sometimes. Um, case in point right now, my P22... Um, is a beautiful, beautiful electric guitar. And I love it to death, but I don't play it. Um, I, I went through a phase of downsizing all of my, not all, well, a lot. I, I used to have uh, eight US Paul Reed Smiths. I will show, actually I'll flash a picture, a full picture on the screen right now. Uh, that was my beautiful collection uh, and what ended up happening was my wife and I were having a baby and uh, we lived in a condo so I didn't really have a studio um, like I do right now so I looked at that and I went okay so I can't keep my guitars out and I don't want to just ship them in a case uh, or like put them away in a case and, and never look at them and forget that I have them. That's when you start to get problems and you start to go, huh, well, what happens if I do this? So what I ended up doing was I um, got, I looked at everything and I said, okay, my daughter, uh, she'll end up crawling and then walking. If she sees these all over the place, first thing she's gonna do is go for the guitars. So, if they're in a stand, that means she may grab them when I'm not there, or if I look away, you know how kids are, and uh, it could go down. Uh, there was more things for her to knock over. To be honest, I'd be more concerned over my daughter than my guitar. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But uh, I was concerned over her, and I was concerned about the guitar. So I looked at it and I said, what can't she pull down <laughs> or what can't she pull on top of her or really get herself into trouble with so I've always been a big recording recording guy and um, I love getting different sounds and stuff like that on guitars so I started downsizing my Paul Reed Smiths so I got myself down to uh, it was first at first it was down to five and then I got it down to three and I couldn't get rid of this um, because of the piezo system that's built into it because oh you can there was one song that I wrote that uses it and it's one small part of the song and then I thought to myself you know what I'm just gonna keep it and uh, I'll, I'll pull it out and I'll use it here and there what ended up happening was, I don't think I've used this guitar really since the summer. And it is now the dead of winter. And it's, it's really hard to have something sit in a case for so long and just flat out not be used. Um, I was picking, I always had it with my uh, Telecaster. And it would just sit there and I'd take the Telecaster out of the case. I keep my non-Paul Reed Smith guitars 
in cases during the winter. Um, I kept this in a case because I didn't use it. Uh, but uh, because the Paul Reese, they're they're dried out really well, so you don't really have to worry about things. But uh, I, I kept I, I kept the case right next to my Telecaster, and then I looked at it the other day and I said, "Wow, you know, I should really make a video on the P22 because I've never really done that." And I made the video, and in the video, I really thought to myself. I said like, oh yeah, so I used to have a Les Paul, it was only a studio, but this is my Les Paul. And what I actually ended up doing after I made the video uh, was I really said like, you know what, I should probably have a Les Paul. And uh, I don't use this, so when I don't use something, to me that means I don't appreciate it. And these guitars are beautiful pieces of work, of art. <laughs> Um, and it should go to someone that really deserves it, but I paid a lot of money for it, and I need to get something in return. So I pulled out the old gas, and I looked around, and I actually I am trading it for um, a Gibson Les Paul Traditional um, from 2014, which is pretty cool because it has the uh, 120th anniversary um, on the 12th fret. Now, it bugs me though because, <clears throat> um, again, I spent so much money on this and it's not exactly equal. So I got a little bit of money um, in the trade too, so I'm getting some money, not a lot, um, but that's just the perils of gear acquisition syndrome or guitar acquisition syndrome. So what I'm going to do I know, really quickly, and it might be, I'm not sure if I'm doing the trade today. It might be a couple of days from now, so it might be a different angle. But um, here's my P22. Beautiful, beautiful Paul Reed Smith. So here's what I have now. Um, so I changed that out, the uh, P22, for the uh, Gibson Les Paul Traditional. I got money in the deal. Um, it will be a little sad, but what this thing does, none of my other guitars really do. Um, it comes very close to it, but the uh, neck pickup and the difference from the neck pickup to the bridge pickup, to my ears at least, um, are very, very, very noticeable. And it's a different tone completely. Um, so yeah, this is a 2014 uh, Gibson Les Paul traditional. It's got the uh, 120th anniversary inlay on it. It's very nice. It is in uh, Heritage Cherry Sunburst. And yeah, uh, obviously you'll, you'll have seen videos of this um, on the channel by now. But uh, yeah, that, that, that is what I traded for, or this is what I traded for. So we'll get back to a um, more somber and a little bit sadder Ryan, but cheer up, buddy. It's not as bad as you obviously think it is. You'll get more use out of this. So we're now back at the P22. So uh, if this video was completed, I no longer have this guitar. And uh, I know I will be heartbroken. That's what happens. That, ladies and gentlemen, is part of the peril of uh, gear acquisition, acquisition syndrome. So that, <clears throat> if you are new to guitar, <laughs> or if you're just here because you have gas yourself, um, you may know this all very well, but that is part of the perils of gear acquisition syndrome. So I'm gonna end this, guys. While I while I talk for the uh, outro, I'm getting a little sad already. <clears throat> uh, while I, I speak or whatever, uh, I'm just gonna show, um, just go up and down, I guess, on the guitar. So you'll hear my voice, but you'll see the guitar. So I'd like to end this video again on a somber note. Um, <clears throat> I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments uh, your gas, what you're gassing for now. Uh, your gas that you regretted later, anything like that. Uh, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, thumbs up the video there if you feel bad for me. If 
you know, I, I will realize down the line. I'll probably be really happy with this Les Paul, to be honest, because I read I need one. Um, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> uh, thumbs down if you didn't enjoy the video. I, I think it's going to be a little long because I'm a little bit sad, even though I wasn't yesterday. Uh, and again, guys, don't don't forget to subscribe to Trico Studios. We get a new video coming at you every single Saturday morning. We like to make bonus videos here and there to get you through the week. Again, I've been Ryan from Tricro Studios. And hold on to your babies tight.